Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thursday. Okay guys, so there is so much to talk about, so much to discuss because we have drama going on on the Real Housewives of Orange County. We had Alexis Bellino confirm that she is not necessarily coming back full time. Now, I spoke to another housewife about this within the realm and they kind of clarified, uh, clarified things for me. They said that they don't always know when each other is going to be returning. So I was like, okay, but why would she say that she's not returning if she is returning? And they said, well, maybe we're going to have a moment where we have a dinner and all of a sudden, boom, walks in Alexis Bellino. And I said, oh, that would be pretty genius. Like maybe they don't want the information out there yet because they want to throw us off. Sort of like the way that they were able to, for the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, keep most of the drama, like Reality Von Tees and the lawsuit under wraps. But we're going to break into all of it. Before we do, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And let's jump right in. So let me just break this down for you really quick. I Once I found out that Alexis Bellino was hitting back on Instagram, social media, saying that it's not true that she is returning full-time in January, I was like, what? But then I looked and I'm like, well, they haven't started filming yet. However, it's only January 4th. They still have a lot of time this month. But maybe... I was just curious, so I made a phone call. I made a phone call to somebody who I know who's within this realm. I'm not going to out them. And they were like, just to let you know, when we get our callbacks, we don't always know who's coming back. Sometimes it's a surprise. Kind of like if you watched The Real Housewives of Miami last night when Alexia Napola or Echevarria and Marisol Patton walked in and they found out that Anna was going to be there which was an absolute fail. Like that was just garbage. That was dumb. She came in and she was going to be guns a blazing and she got shut down so quick. She fled, ran, left. Fail. Kind of like, honestly, I love Denise Richards and Denise Richards came to eat Erica Jane alive. Fail. But usually nine times out of 10, we don't know that they're coming until... They know that they're coming. So I was really shocked about her confirming online that she is not coming. However, there's new news. So let's get into this. Now, according to Reality T, Tamara Judge and Emily Simpson have anxiety over Alexis Bellino's potentially, um, well, new position on the Real Housewives of Orange County. So Alexis Bellino could be returning to the show for season 18, but... A lot of people, not everyone, would love to see her make a comeback just for the drama that she would cause. Tamara Judge and Emily Simpson are both losing sleep over her potential return, saying, I just lay in bed thinking of all of these things that could potentially happen next season. Tamara said, I'm already having anxiety. But filling in for Teddy Mellencamp on her and Tamara's Two Teas in a Pod podcast, Emily also admits to having anxiety due to her friendship with Alexis. Tamara is also friends with... The Real Housewives of Orange County alum, which presents a huge conflict with her relationship with her bestie, Shanna Bador. Now, in case you guys have been under a rock, Alexis is currently dating Shanna Bador's ex, John Jansen, and it's messy and could get worse if Shannon and Alexis and possibly John have to film together. I would die. Can I just say this would be some shit? If they said, okay, guys, we are doing a dinner party. We're doing a dinner party, and you guys have to film together. Um, what? Shannon would not do that. Alexis wouldn't do that. Most people would not do that. But it would be amazing. It would be great TV. Let's get back to it. So, wait, wait, wait. Jumping back in as one does. Now, besides being a major violation of girl code, Alexis scooping up Shannon's leftovers is especially hurtful due to the lawsuit that Alexis's then-husband, Jim Bellino, filed years ago. Now, this lawsuit caused Shannon Bador 
financial distress, emotional distress, mental distress, a lot of things. And they're claiming that Alexis was somehow a part of this. Mind you, Shannon was the one who went on and said ridiculous things with Tamara on the, that said podcast. However, at the end of the day, it was Jim Bellino who sued you. And I don't think that this is girl code. I think that if Alexis is hooking up with your ex, you don't know her. You've said you don't know her. And apparently on the night that you got your DUI and hit and run, you were literally screaming across the quiet woman profanities at her. Now you said you weren't. I wasn't there. I don't know. But anyways, he sued both Tamara and Shannon for disparaging comments that they made about his business at the time. And even though the lawsuit was eventually dismissed, it was stressful and expensive. And Shannon has not forgiven either Alexis or Jim. If Alexis does film and she's on the show, this is what Emily said, we have to bring her in and Shannon's going to be there. That should make for some interesting fireworks. The drunken brawls we've seen in previous seasons will be nothing compared to what will happen when Shannon and Alexis have to sit at a table together. But when Emily questioned how long Alexis and John have been dating, Tamara said, all I know is that BravoCon, she was not dating him. But by December, they were already saying I love you. Emily said, I went to Kathy Hilton's Christmas party. Alexis was there and we hung out. We ended up coming back to Orange County together. I made a statement of like, oh, that's so dumb that people think you're dating just because you're in a picture together. And she was like, but we are. Oopsie. Now, we've all seen the pictures of the Van Cleef and Arpels promise ring. And I've showed you guys this multiple times. But John supposedly gave Alexis for Christmas this ring only a few weeks after dating. Now, rumor has it either Alexis paid for the ring herself or she was paid by the jewelry company for the promotion. But Shannon's ex-sister-in-law, David Bedore's sister, used to be the West Coast director of the company. So no matter how you want to put this, it seems like one big F you. If producers bring Alexis back for season 18, it's definitely going to be war. It's going to be wild. But just to give you guys like an idea of what was said, let me just play this clip for you really quick. Here we go. I love playing a good clip. It always just makes my day. Happen next season, I'm like, oh my God, I am already have anxiety. And I, I have anxiety too because I'm friends with Alexis. You're friends with Alexis. Yeah. If she does film and she's on the show, we have to, we have to bring her in. But yes. then Shannon's going to be there. But I have gotten blamed in the press for hooking them up. That doesn't even make sense. The picture no. at, first of all, how long have they been dating? A month? Yeah, a month, two months, maybe. I don't know. All I know is at BravoCon, she was not dating him. I went to Kathy Hilton's Christmas party. Oh, you were with Alexis. And Alexis was there and we hung out. And then we ended up coming back to Orange County together. I rode with her back to Orange County. And I made a statement of like, oh, that's so dumb that people think you're dating just because you're in a picture together. And she was like, uh, but we are. And I was like, oh, Okay. So, yeah. Bravo, casting department. We're asking you very nicely. Please bring back Alexis Bellino. There's no other options. We don't have a choice. We don't have any other way to navigate this except for you bringing back Alexis Bellino. So, thank you. We appreciate it. And we will take her back for this season. Now guys, with that, I want to hear what your thoughts are. So go ahead and comment below, smash that like button, show some love, and um, we'll see you in just a little bit. Love you guys. We'll see you next time.